This is a story about a dream giver named Littlest, a spirited wisp-like creature who is learning how to give dreams to humans. Her teacher Fastidious teaches about the dream giving process, a process that involves touching objects and absorbing their memories. However, Fastidious gets frustrated with Littlest and her playful personality. At the heat, the gathering place of the dream givers, Littlest is assigned a new teacher, Thin Elderly, an experienced dream giver who lets Littlest develop with more freedom. He also tells her about the Sinistide, horse-like creatures who are responsible for giving humans nightmares. Meanwhile, the two dream givers are assigned to watch over a lonely and sad elderly woman whose only companion is a dog. The woman is kind and loving and takes in a foster child named John. John comes from an abusive family where his father beats his mother. The father has moved away to California and the mother is trying to get her life back together. When John first arrives at the woman's house, he is antagonistic and aggressive, saying violent and hurtful words to the woman. Still, the woman shrugs it off and continues to take care of John. Because of John's emotional state, the Synestides plan a horde, an aggressive attack on a human that involves multiple Synestides producing a terrible nightmare. Littlest and Thin Elderly try to strengthen John with good dreams and memories to combat the nightmare. Fortunately, Littlest uses enough memory fragments to construct enough happy memories to wait off the nightmare. And in the end, John continues to live with the old woman until his mother is ready for him, and Littlest, who has proven herself to be a good dream giver, takes on the name Gossamer and inherits a new apprentice. First, this story has an interesting interpretation of dreams and nightmares. The author creates a simple yet highly metaphoric mythos on the relationship between dream creation and people's memories. Through this, readers also identify the connection between physical objects, memories, and dreams. Identity is also an important theme in this story. Littlest spends most of the story trying to figure out who and what she is. She quickly realizes she is not a dog, but when she realizes that she is not human, something noteworthy within her changes. Perhaps the catalyst of this change was her maturing, but it feels more like it is derived from a culmination of self-identity, confidence, and a sense of accomplishment. So what does Gossamer mean? Before Littlest inherits the name, Gossamer is mostly used as an adjective in reference to light touch. And because dream givers are not supposed to touch living things, Littlest having this ability further separates her as a special dream giver. Although somewhat cryptic, Synestides are discussed in this story playing the important role of antagonist for the dream givers. The relationship between dream givers and Synestides parallels the relationship between biblical angels and demons, as Synestides are derived from dream givers, another interpretation of how close the relationship between good and evil truly is.